Welcome to a presentation about how to measure profitability of a company by using the net profit margin ratio. I'm Julia Westlake and I'll be your moderator. Something everyone needs to understand before we actually move forward is that there's a relationship between profits and companies. Companies exist, yes, and their owners would like to make money, but sometimes those owners are not the only shareholders. Sometimes they ask for investments from outside sources, and those shareholders have an expectation that the company be profitable so that they earn a return on their investment. There are several measures which we can use to measure a company's profitability. One such way is called net profit margin ratio. Another is return on assets, or ROA, as it's often referred to as. Return on equity, or ROE, and return on investment, ROI, are other measures that we could use as well. In this particular module, we'll be learning about the net profit margin ratio. There are several things that we should know when we're using the net profit margin ratio. The first of which is, this is an after-cost margin of profits. So we're essentially taking the gross profits and we're subtracting out of that the expenses, the interest, and the taxes. The next thing we need to note is that this is a measure of how effectively the company is controlling costs in order to maximize profits. If you're an investor in a public company or you're a private investor in a privately held company, this is an important measure of how effectively the company is controlling their costs in order to get you your profits as well as them their own profits. If you are a business owner and using this measure or a financial analyst using this measure to help the business, you're going to look for things that would clue you in to how the company could better maximize their profits and control their costs. Something else that you should look for. This has got to be compared with other industry businesses. So you have to calculate it not only for your own firm, but for another in order to realize whether or not the number is high or low for the industry. A higher number, according to industry comparisons, indicates better performance. So this calculation cannot be taken by itself. It must be compared if you're wanting to know if it's industry appropriate or not. We calculate the net profit margin ratio with a simple formula. It involves basic division. The net profit margin equals the net profit after taxes divided by the total revenues. Of course, in order to calculate the net profit margin ratio, you're going to need to know where to find the information. You need not look very far, just into the income statement for the company. You can look for the net income applicable to common shares for publicly traded companies or the net income for privately held companies and the total revenue for either private or publicly held companies. Make sure you focus in on the current year's data in order to get the most current calculations. If you wish to compare it historically, compare it to historical numbers, but make sure you use the same year's applicable information when calculating. Now that you know where to find the information to calculate the net profit margin, now it's time to solve it. Step one in the process is identifying the formula. We want to make sure that we identify the correct formula in order to ensure that our calculation is accurate. So, now that we know, net profit margin equals net profit after taxes divided by total revenues, we're set to calculate the actual equation. The next step involves identifying the correct formula and filling it in with the values. After all, your calculations can only be as accurate as your information. The net profit margin equals net profit after taxes divided by total revenues. This means that the net profit margin, in our case, based on our income statement, is equal to $5,503,100 divided by $27,006,000. The next step that we will encounter is the solving it phase. After all, we have to calculate it. So the net profit margin in this case, as we just discussed, is $5,503,100 divided by $27,006,000. We need only perform the basic division in order to get the answer, which is 0 0.20 or 20% in this case. Finally, we do need to know what this number means. In this particular case, it means that for every $1 the company has spent, it retains 20%, which is 20 cents of profit. 
this company is healthy because it's making a profit and it's not very slim. Compare it to another company in the same industry or a competitor in the same field and you'll place this number into perspective. After all, 20% for one company may not be very healthy in the industry if industry returns look more like 40, 50, 60%. However, if industry standards indicate that companies in this field earn a 5 or 10% net profit margin, this company would be doing quite well. If we do compare this particular company to a competitor and it comes in with a net profit margin ratio of 0.10 or 10%, then we could determine that this company is doing an excellent job of returning profits for its shareholders, regardless of whether it's publicly or privately held. So remember, the net profit margin ratio is a measure of profitability. Its information is found in the income statement. It's calculated as net profit after taxes divided by total revenues, and you should look for industry-appropriate high ratios. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.